Imagine you made a scientific discovery that could save millions of lives, but no one believed you. This was exactly what happened to Dr. Barry Marshall, whose research on stomach ulcers was laughed at by other doctors. After years of being rejected while patients kept suffering, Marshall did something incredible in 1984 that would change medicine forever. Completely sure of his research, he used himself as a test subject in one of medicine's most dramatic experiments. He drank a mixture full of harmful bacteria to prove his theory right. This bold move eventually led him to winning the Nobel Prize. This is his story. For decades, the medical world had a simple explanation for stomach ulcers, stress and spicy food. Millions suffer from these painful, sometimes deadly conditions. The treatment, bland diets, stress reduction, and expensive medications that often gave temporary relief at best. Patients face lifelong treatment or risky surgery. The pharmaceutical industry made billions selling antacids and medications that treated symptoms but never cured the disease. It was just the way things were, a fact of medical science. But in a hospital laboratory in Perth, Australia, a young doctor named Barry Marshall and a pathologist named Robin Warren were about to challenge everything the medical establishment thought they knew. Barry Marshall wasn't a gastroenterologist, which is a specialist of the gut, or a famous researcher. He was just a trainee internal medicine doctor when he met pathologist Robin Warren in 1981. Warren had noticed something unusual in stomach biopsies, which are samples taken from patients' stomachs and then investigated under a microscope. He noticed curved bacteria living in the stomach lining. According to medical textbooks, this was impossible. The stomach's harsh and acidic environment should kill any bacteria. But these spiral-shaped organisms were thriving where ulcers were formed. Marshall became fascinated with Warren's discovery. Together, they isolated the bacteria and they named it Helicobacter pylori, and they proposed a revolutionary idea. Ulcers were not caused by stress or spicy food. It was actually caused by a bacterial infection that could be cured with antibiotics. When Marshall and Warren presented their findings, they expected interest and perhaps even excitement. Instead, they faced ridicule and dismissal. Leading gastroenterologists called their theory preposterous. Journal after journal rejected their papers. At medical conferences, their presentations were met with skepticism or outright hostility. The problem wasn't just scientific conservatism. Billions of dollars were at stake. The pharmaceutical industry had built empires on medications that managed but never cured ulcers. An entire medical specialty had built careers around the stress theory. Marshall and Warren had evidence, but they needed something more dramatic to break through the wall of disbelief. Something that would make the medical world take notice. By 1984, Marshall was growing desperate. Animal studies were not working, H. pylori seemed to only infect humans or primates, and ethical boards would never let him infect human subjects. So Marshall made an extraordinary decision. If no one would believe him, he would become his own guinea pig. On June 12, 1984, Marshall made a cloudy broth of the Helicobacter pylori bacteria. With his colleague watching, he took a deep breath and swallowed the entire contents. Within days, Marshall became violently ill. He developed nausea, vomiting, and halitosis, which is the medical term for bad breath, these are all early symptoms of gastritis, which often precede stomach ulcers. A biopsy confirmed that the bacteria had colonized his previously healthy stomach. After two weeks of misery, Marshall took antibiotics and quickly recovered. He had proven that Helicobacter pylori can infect a healthy human stomach and cause disease, and more importantly, that taking antibiotics could cure it. Marshall's dramatic self-experiment made headlines, and although there was still resistance, it sparked a decade of research into his hypothesis. Finally, in 1994, the US National Institute of Health officially recognized that most peptic ulcers were caused by Helicobacter pylori and recommended antibiotics as the standard treatment. Patients that had suffered for decades were now being cured in weeks. Marshall and Warren had been right all along. The discovery didn't just revolutionized ulcer treatment, it transformed our understanding of other diseases as well. We now know that Helicobacter pylori is the primary cause of stomach cancer, one of the deadliest cancers worldwide. On the 3rd of October 2005, 20 years after the desperate experiment from Marshall, the call came from Stockholm. Barry Marshall and Robert Warren had won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for the discovery of Helicobacter pylori and its role in gastritis and peptic ulcer disease. The outsiders had become laureates. Today, Barry Marshall's self-experiment is taught in medical school as an example of scientific courage and the danger of dogma. Simple antibiotic treatments have dramatically reduced stomach ulcers in developed countries. Stomach cancer rates have plummeted in countries that routinely test for H. pylori and treat it. Countless surgeries have been avoided. Billions of dollars have been saved. But perhaps the most important legacy is how Marshall and Warren's discovery changed medical thinking. Their work reminds us that established medical facts should always be open to question, and sometimes the most revolutionary ideas come from outsiders willing to question everything, even at personal risk. So the next time someone tells you that your idea is impossible, remember Barry Marshall, the doctor who trusted his evidence enough that he would swallow a beaker of bacteria, face ridicule from his peers, and eventually change medicine forever. If you enjoyed the story, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It'll really help me out a lot. If you'd like to learn about an over-the-counter pill that can prevent colon cancer, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next video.